oldest video game store in the Pacific Northwest, and it's been hit by crime yet again. They're one of the many local businesses dealing with a spike in break-ins, and tonight one of their employees was held at gunpoint. Fox 13's Alejandra Guzman spoke with that employee who had the gun in their face, and she has the latest tonight. CID residents say crime in this area has skyrocketed over the last couple of months, and you might recognize the store behind me, Pink Gorilla. It's a popular tourist attraction, but it's also a place where many of us come to get our games and consoles, and it's today that precisely one of their employees says he was standing behind the register helping a customer when he says the feeling just wasn't right. It's the cost of having something people want, having it at a good price. Jordan Carson is talking about video games and consoles. Sadly, it opens you up to thieves and people who would take advantage. The 33-year-old has wanted to work at a store like Pink Gorilla his entire life. Today, the gamer had a close call. It was a very casual, had his hands in his pockets the whole time, then he just pulled it and very, very carefully kind of let us know that he had it. He and his co-worker, Ash, were held at gunpoint. Just mumbling assurances that we should not make a mistake and do anything brave. The incident caught on camera when this man, Jordan, describes his tone, dressed in dark clothes from head to toe, carrying a backpack and is wearing a mask, walked into the store in the Chinatown International District shortly after 5. <laughs> The man asked Jordan for a PS3 in their display case and continues browsing throughout the store. He brought everything up to the counter where Jordan gave him his total multiple times. Instead, he says a man asked for a bag when he just produced the gun and then, you know, the, the cards, the cash and the system were forthcoming with no charge. The alleged thief making off with the console, Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh cards he made employees empty from a display case and all their cash. It pisses me off to get taken advantage of. The employee says the man had a reason for committing the alleged crime. He specifically mentioned that his uh, brother or someone was in the hospital. Still, he made off with thousands worth. So in the moment, the concern was, of course, for me and Ash to just get out of there with no harm. It was an easy choice to give him what he wanted. This isn't a first for the store. Last July, they were broken into twice, totaling about $14,000 in theft and damages. They've since added cameras, and the building has also reinforced their entry. While they felt their last attack was targeted, the store owner, Cody, says he's seen this man's face before. We're closed. He says this is the same man who showed up after hours while he was live streaming. I'm sorry you have to go through this, man. That's really tough that you felt the need to do it. At this hour, we know police are still actively searching for the alleged thief. I spoke with the owner who says that they've been in this building for 17 years. Leaving it would be a profound loss. In the CID, Alejandro Guzman, Fox 13 News.